Hey, hey everybody, it is Malik, and we're continuing with the Stego missions. We are going into mission level 7. Okay, this mission, to me, was by far the easiest mission. Um, and you know something's different because you have to download the image. Uh, the biggest hint I can give you here, you're going to be able to get through this one. Do what you did in mission number one, in mission number four, in mission number six. When you take a look at the dump, it is basically going to tell you what you need to use to be able to figure out the answer. You can also figure it out by the type of file it is. You know, if, you, if you've been kind of paying attention to the downloads, we've downloaded with images, we've downloaded bitmaps, and we downloaded GIFs. But my background before I got into IT, my background was graphic design. This image is different. This image is a TIFF. Okay. TIFF images you know we normally saw when we first started graphic design in the early 90s um, when you know computers were were used for computer graphic design and we stopped doing it all by hand. TIFF images were mostly used on Macintosh but now they're used on PCs just as well. But TIFF images can have something in them that GIFs and JPEGs and bitmaps can't have. And if you've ever done any sort of graphic design, you know what those are. It's one of the first things you learn when you start playing with graphic design programs, real graphic design programs. TIFF images, EPSs, etc. have can have something different. So, your first thing to do, take a look at TIFF images and see what TIFFs can have in them that standard bitmaps and GIFs can't, or JPEGs. And then take a look at the dump. The dump is going to tell you the program that they used to create the image. Now, the big problem here is you know, had you solved this three, four, or five years ago, you could download a trial version of the program. And you still can now, but it's a hefty download to download this program that you need. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. You can you will find that out. But it's a big monster download. Um, if you already have it, great. Open it up in that program. You're going to find the answer right away. If you don't have it, is it worth a two gig download? Eh, I don't think so. Not to get by it. Not to get by a challenge. If this was something you were really breaking, yes. But to get by a challenge, I would download a two gig file for a seven day trial version of a program just to break a password. I mean, do it. Definitely do it if you want to do it. But other than that, take a look at the dump. You'll be able to see what program they used. If you want to do it on your own download the program, open it in that program, you know, and, and you'll be able to find the answer fairly easy. Um, so I'm going to give you guys some time to, to do that, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm not going to use the same program they did, only because I don't have it loaded on this laptop, um, but I do have another program that can take a look at it, uh, and I'll show you what they do. All right. So I'll give you a couple of minutes on that, and uh, again, before before I kind of go on and give you that, um, I have just started up again my Twitter account. Um, I haven't posted anything on it yet, but if you guys start following me on Twitter, I'm going to start, I'm going to try to do it once a week, it may be every other week, 
but what I want to do is start doing some live posts uh, to where we can all jump in live and you know, we'll have our, our webcams and all going we'll all jump in live and we'll hit a site and we'll do a challenge that nobody has ever done before that, that we won't start with very difficult ones we'll start with some easier ones and we'll kind of race to the end and see who can get there first kind of like a capture of the flag um, and we'll race to the end and see who can get there first and then hey kudos for the one who can um, <clears throat> if I can turn this site into you know more of a money-making site then we can start you know as we get together on Sunday nights or whatever night works for everybody <clears throat> maybe we can start playing with okay whoever fin finishes this challenge first and uh, you know can of course prove that they finished it first yeah maybe we'll do some free giveaways you know rubber duckies you know, which are some of the greatest USBs you can ever get your hands on or you know stickers or books or eh, who care whatever whatever I can get my hands on uh, if I can turn this into a money-making site um, and I'm not I'm not here trying to make a billion dollars you know, off YouTube I'm here to where we can all get together we can enjoy the post we can have some fun and hey if I can make a little money on the side bonus points uh, but anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna hush here for a while so you guys can uh, can take a look download this thing take a look at it uh, figure out what program they used if you want to grab the program grab it see if you can get the password all right so I'll hush for a minute get to work and I'll see you guys on the other side Okie dokie. Alright, so I have already downloaded the image. As you guys have found out, by downloading it, it's a zip file. And when you decompress it, there is a TIFF file in there. Now, as I mentioned earlier, what do TIFF files have or could have that bitmaps don't, or JPEGs don't, or bitmaps don't? TIFF as well as EPS files and PSD files can have layers. It, it, it's, a, it's a normal thing when we're dealing with Photoshop and when we're dealing with Illustrator and programs like that, real graphics programs, we build things in layers. We stack them on top of each other. It helps for editing and it helps for depth. If you took this thing, this image, into hex edit, now I'm going to go ahead and open it up and hex edit. You will see immediately they used Adobe Photoshop to build this image. Adobe puts his name all over the place, and it also puts his name inside of, of course, the dump. You can also see by scrolling down. Um, let me find out where it's at. I didn't pin it, but uh, it's somewhere down. Should be. Hmm, a little bit too far. Oh, there it was. I saw it when I flew by it. There it is. Here we go. Um, layer two. Um, yeah, layer zero. Yeah, that's the background layer. Um, and then all the stuff that, of course, is on that layer. Yeah, layer one. So I can tell by this hex dump that there's three layers inside of this image. I just need to open it up in a program that can keep those layers separate. So of course if you have Photoshop you open it up in Photoshop. GIMP you can do it in GIMP. I happen to have Illustrator uh, so I'll just open it up in Illustrator. 
So let me open this file. And again, it is Stego7. Oops. Let me open it up again. I got so many things running. I'm almost running out of memory. Narrow it down to just my TIFFs. May have to download it again. Eh, let me download it again. It's probably because I'm running out of memory. I got so many things running now. Here we go. And I'm just going to open it. There we go. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and extract it to my desktop. Override it. Thanks the file is open. There we go. Make sure it's extracted right. Yes, yes, yes. Let's try to open it this way. And open it up with Illustrator. There we go. I'm going to tell it, you know, here I'll just tell it to convert it. And if there's any hidden layers, I'm just going to tell them to import it, but really none of them are hidden. Alright, there's the image that they downloaded. But, if we look over here, we see there's three layers. Okay? Well, you're not going to see anything until you start turning layers off. So, what we're looking at is really layer number one. This is layer one. Layer one. It sits on top of all the other layers. If I turn it off, there's your password. Right there. Oops. A bit too close. There it is. And of course, if I turn that one off, it's a little harder to read, so I'll keep the black on. But it is 4A H5 C E T A. Okay. So we'll just drop back to here. 4A H5 C E T A. And there's our go on. Not a very difficult one at all. So again, as you guys have seen, a lot of this stuff is dumping it into hex edit or some sort of hex editor that is going to give you a springboard into what you need to do next. A lot of stegos are done that way. So you, that's your typical way that you're going to start every stego. It may not work on every one of them, but it will on the majority. It will give you something that you need to do as a starting point. So, that is that one. We will, uh, after I get this one pushed up, I think I got enough time to do one more tonight. Uh, we'll get into eight, and tomorrow when I have some time, I will, uh, <laughs> I will look back through and play with five and figure out how I broke five you know, two or three years ago because I cannot remember how I broke it and uh, um, I'm stuck on one part on uh, a secondary conversion that I cannot remember how I took it out but anyway uh, until then my friends uh, hope you're enjoying the videos if so give it a, a like down at the bottom and subscribe to the channel and uh, again 
Think about following me on, on Twitter. We'll see if we can do some live feeds if I have enough followers. All right. Until then, my friends, I will see you.